Hi guys, JB here. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a bootable USB thumb drive with a Kali Linux image on macOS Sierra. Uh, I already got all things open we need to accomplish the task, uh, which are the terminal window, the disk utility tool, which is not really required, but it's useful if you're not that familiar with the terminal, and obviously the Kali Linux website. So the first step you need to do is you need to download the Kali Linux image, um, which you can accomplish by going to the download section of the website and picking the image that suits your needs. In my case, I already downloaded the first one. Uh, I use the torrent to download it because it's a little bit faster than the downloads from their server, but you can download it any way you want. Since I already downloaded it, you're not gonna have to suffer through 30 minutes of downloading and we can move on with the next step. So once you've got your image downloaded, it's gonna hopefully or probably be in your downloads folder. So in your terminal, you use CD downloads in order to get to that folder. Um, you can use the ls command to list the, the files in the folder and you can see there is my Kali Linux image. So the next thing we need to do is we're gonna plug in the thumb drive we wanna use for our bootable Kali Linux stick. So I plugged it in and as you can see in the disk utility window below, it's recognized by the system. So what we wanna do now is we wanna unmount it again. So First, we need to check uh, where it's connected. You can either do this in the disk utility tool and it's gonna show you once you click on it. Uh, in my case, it's disk two. In your case, it might be different since you probably have further drives attached or more partitions or whatever, you know. So it's please make sure to get the right number here. Yeah, you could mess up your system if you have the wrong number. So. If you wanna accomplish the same thing in the terminal, you use disk util list, and it's gonna show here, okay, it's an external physical drive, and it's dev disk too, so just as below. So what we wanna do now is we wanna unmount it, with, uh, and for that purpose, we use the unmount command. Um, so it's disk util unmount slash dev slash disk two, which is going to result in an error because the stick already has some partitions on it. And it also tells you how to solve it. It's gonna be disk util unmount, uh, unmount disk, and then the same dev disk two, which is going to unmount it unless I made a typo. Uh, so disk util unmount disk slash dev disk two. There you go, there you go. Obviously something always goes wrong in those videos, but I'm not gonna redo the video just because of the typo. So once we've done that, we are almost there. The last thing we want to do is we want to write the image to the stick. So in order to accomplish that, we write sudo dd if, and then uh, the file name of our image, which could be different depending on the version that you downloaded and where we want to put it. We want to put it on dev disk two. And last but not least, we define the block size. Um, I've stumbled around several tutorials suggesting different block sizes from ranging from like 500 kilobits to more or less, whatever. Uh, but I'm going to stick with the official recommendation of the Kali Linux documentation, which is to use a block size of one megabyte. Yeah. So that's it. You do that. Uh, you press the button. Make sure again that you have the right disk, in that case, disk two. And uh, then you have to enter your password because you are using super user privileges with the sudo command. Um, your terminal is not gonna show the, the input here, so you just type blindly, more or less, and then you press enter, and it starts. It, it doesn't give you any feedback. Uh, you only see that the partition below disappeared, 
Um, it's gonna run for quite some time. It might take around 30 minutes. That might vary depending on your uh, USB thumb drive, where it's connected and so on. Like, is it USB 3.0 or 2.0 or whatever, you know? So there are d different aspects that influence the duration of how long it takes. And in fact, you don't have any way to, to check what it's doing. At the end, it's gonna show an output, which I'm gonna show you then. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video for now and we're gonna continue once the stick is finished. So here we go again. The copy process has finished and you're going to see an output similar to this. That's basically it. You've successfully created a bootable USB thumb drive with Kali Linux on it. So I hope you enjoyed the clip and it helped you solve an issue. Um, check out my other videos on how to set up dual boot with Kali Linux on Mac OS Sierra. Uh, if you got any suggestions or run into any problems, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, see you soon.